And for show number 26, we are going to start out really working on your spine. We want to limber it up. We want to give you a lot more flexibility. So we'll start out with what some people think is the dreaded spinal twist. And uh, my husband doesn't like it, but then he doesn't do it like he should. Start out and extend your left leg straight out in front of you. Bring your right foot and put it to the left side of your left leg. Don't bring it in too close. Have it down just around your knee to your calf. With the left elbow, go to the right side of your leg. And this time you stretch your hand down. Uh, just recently we did one where you kept your arm up. We're going to begin to stretch a little more deeply through the shoulder. Reach down and try to hold on to your foot. All right, to the best of your ability, you want to have your chest facing forward and the equal amount of weight on both sitting bones. If you find, as many will, until we begin to let go here, that there's just no way you can get your hand down over that foot, again, just get a sash, put it around your ankle, hold on to it with that hand, and then inch it in as your body releases. So it's not a thing of, oh, I just can't do that one. Work your way around it. Try to get the weight on both sitting bones. Adding insult to injury, try to sit up very tall. Now bring your right arm straight out in front of you. Push the left heel away from you, stretching in through your calf. Focus your eyes on your fingertips and keep your shoulder still. Don't swing your arm out. Try to freeze the shoulder joint and simply twist through the shoulders. Twist through your shoulders, going in the direction to the right. You want to try to get your chest to face the wall to your right. Now glide your chin over your shoulder and begin to bring your arm back. Bring your arm back and hold. Keep your eyes on your fingertips. Try to keep the weight on both sitting bones. I know it's difficult. Breathe softly. Don't force it. Now coming forward, first bring your shoulders forward, chest is forward, now you bring your arm forward. We're going to be doing a lot of these throughout the course of this series because it is so important for your spinal health. Now stretch, separate your shoulder blades, tuck your chin in just to stretch out those muscles in your back and release. Extend your right leg straight out in front of you, bring the left foot over to the right side of your knee and your calf. Don't bring it too far back, it'll be too difficult. Bend the right elbow and put it to the left side of your leg. It's opposite, opposite limbs. Extend your arm down and try to hold onto your foot or to your ankle. Again, try to get the weight on both sitting bones. Lengthen yourself up, push the heel away from your body, stretching through your calf. Bring your left arm out in front of you. Try once again, separate your shoulder blades. Try to be tall, the equal amount of weight on both sitting bones. Focusing your eyes on your fingertips. Move your shoulders, not your arm. Twist your spine, twist your spine. Come around, come around. Try to stay in your comfort zone. That sounds like an oxymoron, doesn't it? <laughs> Keep turning. Bring your chin over the left shoulder. Bring your arm back. Keep pushing the heel away. Lengthen up your spine. Open up through the breastbone. Breathe softly. Keep your chin over your shoulder. Feel the muscles in your upper back working. Breathe softly. And slowly come back forward. Bring the shoulders forward first. And then you bring your arm forward and stretch. Separate your shoulder blades, tuck your chin in, and release. Ease out of that. Don't hyperextend your elbow. Rub your elbows if that makes you feel a little bit better. Rub a little bit, work through your shoulders. Just don't let yourself get all tight over a posture like that. Again, as I've said though, we're gonna be doing a lot of those because they're very important to rejuvenate your spine. Now we're going to do another posture, and this one is called the DEER posture, the D-double-E-R, not the D-E-A-R. 
um, and I'm not exactly sure why it's called a deer posture, but you extend one leg straight out in front of you. You bend the other knee and you bring your heel right into your hip joint. Not out here. Now you really need to bring it right into the hip joint in order to facilitate this posture. This is going to be more flexibility for your spine in the lengthening of the spine. Bring your arm in front of your knee. Have your shoulder lined up to your knee, to the knee joint. And with the other hand, pull your knee into your body. Don't let it just go hanging out there. Pull it in. Extend your arm out to your side and then turn your palm toward the ceiling so your thumb faces the wall behind you. This is important because only by doing that will you be able to bend your elbow and bring the hand around behind you. If you have your palm down, you're not going to be able to bend the elbow, all right? So turn the palm up, have the thumb pointing to the wall behind you, bend your elbow, bring your hand around behind you, then bring the other arm around, wind it around to the back, and try to hold hands with yourself. Hold hands and extend the leg in front of you, straight out in front of you. Lengthen up your spine. Try to get the weight on both sitting bones. Uh, be patient. Be patient. Lengthen up. Now, inhale through the nose. Deeply and exhale. You're going to bend forward at the hip joints, not at your waist. Rotate your pelvic girdle forward. Empty the air and draw your forehead towards your knee. Inhale. Pick up your head, line your neck up to your spine, come all the way up, and exhale. Ease out of your arm position, extend your legs straight out in front of you, bend the other knee, bring the heel in very, very close to your hip joint. This is a difficult posture. If you, if you just want to sit and watch, that's one thing. If you want to try it, you need to work a lot of patience. Fold forward, get your shoulder right in front of your knee. Wind your arm out and turn your palm toward the ceiling so the thumb faces the wall behind you. Bend your elbow, bring it your arm around behind you. Get your other arm, wrap it around behind. Hold, hands, lift up now, lift up. Push the heel away from your body, lift up, chin up now. Inhale through your nose, deeply, and exhale, and slowly fold forward, slowly fold forward, fold forward, empty all the way down, try to put your forehead as close to your knee as possible. Pick up your head, line your neck up to your spine, inhale, coming up, and exhale, empty completely. Release. Ease out of your position. I really hope that you will be practicing these. They are difficult, uh, and that's why we will review. At the end of the week, we'll go back and review all of these. Right now, you may feel some tension in your hips and in your lower back, so to break the tension, put the soles of your feet together. Obviously, this is one of my very favorite postures. It's not a posture. It's just a position, that of the clam, folding forward, stretching through the hip joints, Stretch into your joints. Now get your mind into those joints. Stretch through your glutes and through the lumbar back. Put your forehead as close to your feet as possible. Then pick up your head. Come back up into the upright position. Now we're going to combine some postures. Recently we did a posture which was known as the, uh, the cat. And then we also did one that has a uh, opposite effect in a sense, although it's still working through your back. So you're coming onto your hands and knees for the cat, which then will go into the camel. Important for your low back health. This is extremely therapeutic. So bring your tailbone up, bring your chin up, and inhale. Exhale, drop your head down between your arms, push your hands and knees into the floor, push your spine to the ceiling. Push way up, draw your navel to your backbone. Come on now, people. Push, push, push. Inhale, sway. Pick up your tailbone, pick up your chin, a deep arch. And exhale, come back up. Now onto your knees. Get your knees a little bit closer together. 
Tighten up your stomach, breathe softly, arch your lower back. You remember when we did the camel, you went onto one side and then the other. If you can rely on your quads, ease back, put your hands on your heels, open up your chest, face the ceiling. This is wonderful for your lower back and wonderful for your chest, your shoulder joints. Pick up your head, holding your feet very carefully, bend your knees. Do not come all the way down to a sitting position. Pay very close attention to your knee joints, but slowly lower your seat toward the floor. Be really cautious with those knee joints, but this is getting, getting a different little twist into those knees, which is really good if you are very gentle with it and never, never force. Arch your back, arch your back, push your pelvis forward. Contract the muscles in your back, squeeze a lemon between your shoulder blades. Pick up your head, come forward, put your hands and knees down on the floor, and again, sway your back. Now, when we just finished what we did, you may feel a little bit of uh, awareness of your lower back. When you go into a deep sway, that will immediately relax those back muscles. Inhale, chin up. Exhale, sway, round out, drop your head between your arms, push your hands and knees into the floor, push, push, push. Draw your navel to your backbone. Inhale, sway your spine, tailbone up, chin up. Push up, exhaling, up onto your knees. Draw that stomach in, tighten up those quads, arch your back. If you can't go with both hands, just go on one side. Put all the weight, rotate, push the pelvis forward, face up to the ceiling, pushing up, breathing rhythmically. Go to the other side. Put the hand on your heel, rotate around. If you're able, put your hands on both heels, lift up your head, tighten up your stomach, work those knee joints, be really aware of what you're doing, be careful, don't force, make sure you stay comfortable, easing down as close to the floor as your body will allow. Push back up again, push the pelvis forward, open up your chest, coming forward, come onto your hands and knees. At any point in time when you think of it, inhale and sway. Eat fruits instead of just drinking the juices. Try to eat the fruits. Exhale, push up, push way, way up. And sit on your heels, stretch forward. Till next time, bye. To purchase a copy of Priscilla's Yoga for Expectant Mothers, program 012008, please call 1-800-553-7752 or write to the address on your screen.